Well, it is a bit of a slow news week this week. We do have news that will shock and surprise you. So stay tuned for this edition of the Horrifying News. Well, some more updated news from last week about the Friday the 13th nah. ongoing lawsuit franchise battle mess nonsense, it seems like. Yeah, we've seen a lot of people out there going, hey, why on earth did the author wait 35 years in order to file this suit? There's something wrong with him. No, actually there's not. It's called the law. Uh, basically, copyrights expire after 35 years. So believe it or not, it's been that long since the first Friday the 13th, oh, and uh, now's the time for him to do it. And well, unfortunately, there is no release date for this, but hmm? there is a new rescan of Child's Play, which is actually nice. really interesting. Yeah. It comes with a couple new features as well, so obviously it's a new 2K scan, so that'll be oh. awesome to see. Beautiful. There is a brand new audio commentary with the director, Tom Holland. Yes. And probably what I'm most interested in is some new behind-the-scenes footage with the special effects director. Oh, very nice. So that would okay. definitely be an interesting thing. There's a bunch of other special features on there as well. Always. Like I said, no release date, but uh, we'll keep you updated, especially if it's available for pre-order. In TV news, uh, mm -hmm. TNT actually signed a deal to create a TV series based on the movies Let the Right Ones In. Uh, uh, stop, right there, right there. No, no, no. <sighs> Leave it alone. Leave it alone. I, what in the hell is your problem, TNT? I mean, it's bad enough that Let the Right One In has already been remade and bastardized one time. You don't need to do it again, and more importantly, you don't need to do it on TV and drag it out. Okay, you're not going to deal with some of the more uh, salacious elements of the novel. You're not going to do it any kind of justice. Just leave it alone. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Are you done? Um, for now. Oh, I don't believe that for a second. I don't. <laughs> You do agree, so go ahead. Uh, well, maybe not agree, oh. but I'm a little mixed on this. I have really? To say. Oh, yeah. you're not all for the it, bastardization of original material? Well, when you like that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, for some very odd reason, despite watching thousands of horror movies, I have not really been into horror TV shows. Oh, I can't really yeah, explain why. Yeah. Um, police procedurals, man, have I seen every episode of Law and Order? Yeah, I have. But for some reason, horror TV shows just ha never did it for me. Ah. So I don't know. Uh, TNT is not the worst pick of a channel, I think, for something mm. like this. We won't even get into that argument because I hear no the noise picks. coming from over here, <laughs> this region. Um, over there. But I did see the remake. Oh. I know, I know, I know. I saw the remake, but I am, I'm a little curious. But it's me. I'm honestly probably just not going to watch it because I don't even watch American Horror Story. Why am I going to watch this? Why should anyone watch it? Here, here. It's time to celebrate. Netflix has officially, officially announced season two of Stranger Things. Woo! Yes, yes, yes. Oh, God, I can't wait. Yes. Finally. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, yeah. They, uh, and they, they released a little bit of information about it. Very little. Very little. Um, I think that um, it's going to be taking place in 1984. Good year. The fall of 84. You know, right around, I don't know. Um, Halloween, maybe? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And uh, I suspect that this has been in the works for a while. Well, I mean, yeah. obviously. Because they released a little featurette with this announcement that contained the title of all nine of the episodes. There's going to be nine episodes next season. Not enough, but fine. Yeah. In particular, pay attention to the very last episode entitled... Very spooky, very scary, and very much looking forward to what should probably be fall of 2017 for Stranger Things Season 2. In our review for the film Don't Breathe, we had a few complaints, the biggest one being the ending. The yes. ending was absolutely horrible. It was one of those spoon-fed, wrapped up in a nice little pink pretty bow sequel setup. Oh. Happy ending nonsense. Yeah, that's it. However, we are happy to report there is an alternate ending. And it was hiding right in front of our faces the entire time. Yes. So if you go check out the Red Band trailer, which we have a reaction to, we'll link to that as well. Yes. In the trailer, uh, the blind man is in the bus station with Rocky, and he's kind of moving his cane around as he's walking through Following the station. Her. Following her. Yes. Well, that's way better. Way better. Come Why? On. Why didn't you do that? Oh, it doesn't make any sense, but it is out there. It's worthwhile. Maybe. Maybe there'll be 
when it comes out on Blu-ray DVD. Maybe. Director's yep. cut, alternate ending option. Yes. We'll see what happens. Uh, we will call it the correct ending <laughs> option. Well, if you want some more info on the stuff we covered on the news, you can check out the video links that are right below us. Uh, we've got Stranger Things and Don't Breathe videos as well. And also subscribe to our channel right over there so you can get updated on the news every week. That's right. And also, please, make sure you follow us on social media. All kinds of crazy goodies there. After you check out these videos below, either in their comment section or here, let us know what you thought. We'd love to hear from you.